What is going on everybody? Mattitude22 here today bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Titans Return Twinferno figure. So before we get into the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging. So you can see on the blister card on the back, has a nice shot of Twinferno with the head coming down, the Headmaster. Pretty good, it says Transformers on the side there. The Generations logo on the back. You can see his transformation, big twin-headed dragon, looks very, very cool. There are some other figures available in the line with the alternate headmaster. Just kind of shows you how it works. There's a brief little bio right there. If you want to go ahead and read that, feel free to pause this video now. And then on the bottom, just writing and barcode the authentic, the Transformers seal of authenticity. So that is going to be pretty much it for the packaging, guys. So we will take a quick break. I will get this guy out of the box and then see you guys on the other side. Alrighty, so looking at Twinferno out of the package. Looking very, very nice. Really, really digging the look of this guy. So the head, the head sculpt is uh, fairly standard pretty much plain white head sculpt with the blue visor but it looks pretty good i like the color scheme i like all the white and the black and the gray and then the darker colors are the more the more shades and then you have the red really makes the red stand out nicely even in of course he doesn't have hands he just has these dragon heads but he's got the eyes red look very very nice uh the wings are a translucent black plastic and you can pose those around so those are pretty cool i mean he's got the hands for dragon mode or alt mode back there pretty nice not too much hollowing in the legs uh a little bit but not all the way just kind of at the bottom part not much of a backpack or any of the, or of the sort so really good can see the Autobot logo clearly so it looks really nice looking at his articulation of course the head moves side to side and you get a little wiggle so the shoulders do rotate and this beat the head or the arm whatever you want to call it can move in and out of there it's weird how the it's, it feels like the joint is the wrong way like it should bend up but it doesn't you can rotate it but then it's like that so uh, it doesn't look better so you just kind of have to deal with it like that but then at the end of the head it that also is articulated I keep wanting to say like the wrist but it doesn't really have a wrist and the jaws articulated so very very cool no torso articulation the hips can move out about this far doesn't really you can you can kind of untab this piece and you can get him to kick pretty far, pretty far back, which is nice. And of course, the double jointed knee and the feet do rotate. So pretty cool right there. Uh, yeah, he has these two guns. You can, well, you, you kind of need, you're going to need to peg them together later. So I'll show you that really quick. So then they just peg together like that. Pretty nice. He doesn't hold them the best. Like I'll, I'll show you. So you can kind of get him holding them. It doesn't really work great. What I found was. Give me, give me one sec, guys, to collect that piece that fell. I don't know where it went. Uh, everything is falling apart for me. Nope, I found it. We're good. There. So you can, I, I, I found, I don't know if this was, in, if it was intended to be this way, but 
I find that you could peg them into, uh, into the shoulders and they do work pretty nice. The only thing is if you're going to do that, you want to get the wings in whatever position you want them to be because it does cut off some of the articulation on the wings. Not, not so much the articulation, but the movement. So I don't know. I found if you kind of do it like that, it looks not too bad. Look like some shoulder cannons, like Optimus Primal. They, uh, they don't. They obviously they don't stay on great. So uh, yeah, you could you could do that if you could get it to stay. Then good for you. So with that. Uh, I'm going to get this guy transformed. We'll take a look at his alt mode. I will see you guys in one second. All right, guys. So now we have Twinferno in his alt mode. With the double-headed dragon. Uh, man, definitely really cool. This has got to be one of my favorite alt modes. I love the two heads. And, of course, like, like you saw with the arms, they're articulated. So you can move those. Jaws are articulated little spot on the back for the titan master so you just kind of put the guns together slap them on the back and then he, he just kind of rides back there so really really cool transformation not too difficult uh yeah it's really nice wings are black are a nice black translucent so you can see through those only issue is i wish the legs kind of locked together like better than they did because they're just really not not the legs themselves but just like this part doesn't lock in as good as it should and this part locks in too much so i don't know i mean unless unless i'm doing it wrong but so he kind of has a difficulty standing but all in all very cool he looks i think he looks cool like that and then you can get him flying So you have him flying, and then you have the Titan Master right there. Kind of chilling. Can move the wings. So very cool. Very, very, very cool alt mode. But, uh, yeah. I'm uh, So I'll, I'm going to uh, take a minute. I will get this guy back into robot mode. And then I will give you guys... Uh, I'll, give you guys I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Alright, you guys. So, all in all, uh, I gotta say, I like Twinferno a lot. I think he's pretty cool. Alt mode is very nice. Uh, he, he's different. He's different from your standard car or plane, so I like that. I think he's cool. Uh, I, I'm gonna recommend this guy. I'm gonna say go ahead and pick him up. He's different. Little fun. Transformation is fairly simple, which I like. So, yeah, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and say pick this guy up. I, I think I think you'll like him. So yeah, that is pretty much it for me, guys. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for all your support. It means so much to me. I could not do this without you guys. So thank you for that. Please don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of the figure. Love to hear your feedback. So please, please, please don't be shy to comment. Check out all my social media in the description. I will leave all the links there. Visit the Sanctuary on Facebook. And that is it. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day and bye.